Hello people, I welcome you to my YouTube channel. My name is Daddy Strides and this is Voice of the Conscience and we're still on Pandora Paper Series. And then um, I've been doing this Pandora Paper Series for a while right now and my objective or what I intend to achieve is to take time to demystify the Pandora Papers. Uh, I have an understanding that many people don't even know what it is or have a perfect understanding of what it is. So what I did is after a little research, I want to define different terms that uh, seems vague or seems uh, 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 big for some people to understand. So I just want to break them down so that we can have a perfect understanding. The reason why I'm doing this is that um, I'm beginning to see this paper indicted a lot of uh, personalities, both internationally and locally. And then uh, politicians, uh, clergymen, uh, celebrities, pop stars, musicians, uh, just the world most influential and powerful people have uh, been indicted by this particular paper. All right. And then I'm beginning to see that in my country, people are beginning to insult dignitaries. People are beginning to insult personalities. I begin to insult people. Uh, you know, because of this, without even having an understanding of what it is all about. So, one of the things I want to do here, I've been defining different terms. I've defined what a Pandora paper is. I've explained what ICIJ is. On this clip, which I don't want it to exceed five minutes, I will be explaining what a tax haven is. Now, you've heard that these rich men uh, hide their businesses in court hide in court in tax havens okay so the question is what is a tax haven when i had this i think that the word tax heaven is incriminating the word tax heaven is indicting so i wanted to know what exactly is a tax heaven then uh i uh, from my findings a tax heaven is simply low tax jurisdictions you know internationally there are high tax jurisdictions and no low tax jurisdiction so what is a low tax jurisdiction a low tax jurisdiction is an a country that have a low tax rate and i have to mention some of them singapore is a low tax jurisdiction so it's a tax heaven australia is a low tax jurisdiction so it's a tax heaven Ireland is a low tax jurisdiction so it's a tax heaven and then um, Bermuda is a low tax jurisdiction so it's a tax heaven Bahamas is a low tax jurisdiction so it's a tax heaven uh, British Virgin Island is a low tax jurisdiction uh, so it's a tax heaven so the question is did you notice what all this or most of these countries that I mentioned have in common? They are just very little countries without much infrastructure. And they thought it wise that the only way to attract international investors into their country is to bring down their tax rate. Usually tax rates are over 15% in most countries, but they brought down their tax rate below 15%. Some of them have 12% tax rate some of them have below that 10 percent nine percent they did this because they think that is the only rational things to do to help their economy by invest by uh, attracting uh offshore companies or international companies that is why you see big giant tech companies like facebook where go went to singapore and many of them like that okay so uh, that is what a tax heaven is. A tax heaven is a low tax jurisdiction. Countries that uh, uh, that have a low tax rate. Okay. Now the question I want to ask: Do you think it is wrong for this country, saying that they don't, infrastructurally speaking, they can't compete with the U.S., the the Germans, the 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 uh, uh, the Germans and uh, many of other countries like the uk particularly so do you think it is wrong or is morally wrong for them to bring down their tax rate all right and then secondly do you think it is wrong for an international businessman to establish his business in a tax heaven or for instance if i'm an international businessman do you think it would be wrong for me to establish a business in australia if i have the wherewithal if i have the fund to do that do you think it would be wrong for me to establish 
a business in Bahamas, for instance, or British Virgin Island, for instance, do you think it is wrong for me to establish a business in Ireland or establish a business in Singapore if I have the will without to do that? Is there anything morally wrong about doing any of these things? Okay. Or do you think that the countries that decides to bring down their tax rate, do you think they are doing anything incriminating or anything illegal? Now, the truth is that rationally speaking, morally speaking, there is nothing wrong with cutting down your tax rate to, to invest, to, uh, to actually uh, attract foreign investors. There is nothing wrong because when you look at these countries, because they, they cannot compete in infrastructure and other things, that is why they did that. All right. When you look at other big company countries, they have infrastructures, they have land, they have other supports they can give to companies. All right. They can ask, have them access loans, you know, in their country and support them anyhow. All right. But some of these literally small, small countries cannot do that. So the only way they can, you know, attract investors is to bring down their tax rates so that foreign investors can flood into their countries countries that even though their tax rate is little but because they have so many of these investors in their countries they can also uh, compete with the international so some of these high uh, tax jurisdiction internationally speaking i say that that is, is quite unfair that is actually what they are saying that internationally is quite unfair because they are insinuating that some of this money take for instance uh, Facebook began from U.S. and you know that U.S. is a is a high uh, tax region. All right. So uh, um, before you know, Facebook moved over to Singapore, which is a low tax region. So what some of them are saying is actually that these com companies, all right, uh, make their money from high high uh, tax regions or high tax jurisdiction and then move it to low tax jurisdictions all right which for me if i'm a businessman i know that my essence of being in business is to make profit i don't think it would be wrong for me okay or economically wrong or even politically wrong or socially or morally wrong for me to establish a business in an area where i will be i will pay less tax because it's good for my business all right so that is what a tax heaven is a tax heaven i will be answering another related question like what is incriminating about it why are they making a whole lot of noise about it what are, is 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 pandora paper actually insinuating or implying by revealing the names of these men who have their offshore companies in in uh who have their offshore companies in tax heaven so what is the criminality in it so that is what i'm going to be talking about right now i believe you now understand what a tax heaven is okay and then thank you for watching my clip and i'm did it right uh please support me by subscribing because i'll be coming up with videos like this support me so that i can do something better all right and then click the notification bot uh, button and then like my video and then spread this video and help share it in other platforms thank you so much for what for being here and this is the strike sign